Okay, I'd like to tell you about uh, one of the nurses that we got very well acquainted with while we were there in Nepal. When we first went to Nepal, uh, there was a doctor who was planning to, to uh, return to the States, he and his wife and children. And they had two boys and a girl, just, li just like uh, us, just like we had. And they were planning to return. And they were overlapping with us about three months just to make sure that we got settled in and kind of got the hang of things and everything. We were very appreciative of that. It was, they were a tremendous help to us. And one of the nurses that we got acquainted with and his wife was Paul Raj, and his wife's name was Joy. They were delightful nurses from South India wonderful Christians, and they were just, oh my, the backbone, you might say, of our nursing staff. Well, time went on. Uh, the nurses, uh, Keith Sturgis, the doctor, and his, his wife, Alice, after spending three months helping us, they went back to the States for five months and they were actually originally planning to, stay, you know, just be with us three months and then re return for other kinds of work. But Keith got to thinking, I'd like to build up an, another wing on this hospital. It's just too small. It was only 35 beds. And so, he decided that after five months at, at uh, home in the States, he and his wife would come back and build that hospital. So I was delighted because uh, just having one doctor there all by himself with all that many patients and different kinds of problems, it was, it was pretty much. Anyway. They came back and, and spent uh, about a year and a half, built a delightful wing to the hospital, been of service ever since, made a huge difference. And uh, then they returned back to the States. During all of that time, Paul Raj and Joy were there and we got acquainted with them very much. And oh, tremendous nurse, both of them actually. Then. I'm not sure about all the background of this, but they decided that they wanted to go down to South India near their home and work in one of our Adventist hospitals down there. So they, they moved down there. Now, I should say that in Nepal, uh, the, the patient load had a lot to do with the weather, or the weather had a lot to do with the patient load. <laughs> And of course, during monsoon, which started first day of June and went all the way June, July, August, taper off in September, sometimes just about disappear in September, by October, monsoon was finished. It was decent weather again. But during those summer months, it was hot and it was humid and the people seem to get diseases a lot more easily during those summer months. So we had much more of a, a, a patient load and the hospital was always full during that time. Well, uh, as I say, Paul Raj and his wife decided to leave. It was some time after that, I would say probably maybe a year, possibly two years, I don't remember exactly, well, they were away. Things continued on at the hospital. We had other nurses that came in and uh, things were going fine. But this particular monsoon started up and again, patient load got heavy. It got pretty wild. I was doing all I, I could manage to do just to keep up with, with uh, what was going on both outpatient and inpatient. So uh, anyway, things were going along reasonably well until 
I started having trouble breathing. And it got worse and worse over a very short period of time. And I realized, <laughs> to my horror, that I developed pleurisy. And it was affecting my breathing to the point where it was painful, my cough was terrible, and I realized I was in no shape to see patients. But what could I do? I was the only doctor, and at that particular time, we only had two nurses. We had nurses' aides, of course, but only two nurses to take care of all the outpatients and all of the, the patients that we had to admit. It was getting impossible. And I, this came on quickly, over a period of about two days. And by the end of the second day, I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do because I really needed to go to bed. Well, the morning of the third day, who should appear but Paul Rudd, our favorite, one of our favorite nurses. And he said, well, what's wrong with you? So I told him. And he said, this is terrible. Paul Raj, as it turned out, had been down in the South. He'd been there for two or three years. And uh, he hadn't seen some of his friends up in northern India for some time. And he hadn't been up to the hospital during any of that time. So he decided to come up and visit. When had he left down there? Five days earlier. Only God could have engineered this. So he came up after only two days of my illness. He said, Dr. Clark, you go to bed. Stay home. Have your wife take care of you. And I will see the patients with the other two nurses. I'll see the patients. I'll take care of the patients in the hospital. You don't need to worry. Well, I knew what he said was true. I knew he was capable of doing that. He was uh, just oh, next door to being a physician himself. <laughs> so he stayed. I don't remember how long it was that uh, it took for me to get back on my feet again. Virginia, of course, had started with fomentations, almost continuous for a while, alternate hot and cold. And uh, it wasn't too long before I got over this horrible pleurisy and got to feeling better and was able to, to uh, go back to work again. And then, of course, we released Paul Raj. And we were so thrilled for what he'd done. And uh, it's amazing the way God intervenes to take care of impossible situations. Uh -huh.